Well, today I thought I would do a video on uh, this uh, instrument here. It's the HP 3312A function generator. On uh, this side of the instrument, we have the main oscillator. It uh, has a frequency coverage of uh, 100 millihertz all the way to 13 megahertz. Uh, we have a uh, st your standard offset control. It is the amplitude control. It has a range of uh, 10 millivolts all the way to 10 volts. You have a, a symmetry adjustment, and we also have a phase trigger adjustment. And on this side of the oscillator is the modulation section. This is the section that will modulate this oscillator here. And we have, uh, you can either select AM, FM, you can do sweeps. And you can uh, modulate it with either another sine wave, a triangle, or a square. Uh, yeah, this one also has a symmetry adjustment on this side. And uh, this control here allows you to adjust the, uh, the modulation depth on AM, the deviation for FM, and uh, the depth of the sweep. And then uh, this control here is uh, it's the range, uh, frequency range. It goes from uh, DC to 10 kilohertz. So let's uh, take a look at the back side. And on the back side, we have uh, this switch here, which allows us to, uh, uh, this is basically used on the, uh, uh, the burst, on the burst uh, mode. Uh, you can either do a, a single uh, waveform or do multiple waveforms. We have the, uh, the trigger in and out. We have the uh, external trigger input here. We also have an external VCO input here. And of course, the fuse and power settings and, and the AC input. All right, we're all hooked up. We are currently observing a, a sine wave at one kilohertz. I can now use this cool function here, which is the symmetry function. And uh, we can change the shape of the waveform by distorting it in both directions, which is kind of a nice feature to have. This is a good way to introduce distortion into the, uh, the waveform so you can measure it. And uh, same thing with triangle. We can make it look more like a, uh, a positive going ramp or a negative going ramp. And we can do something very similar with the square wave where we can change the symmetry of the square wave and make it more pulse-like than anything else. And uh, also, what we can do is we can uh, let's go back to uh, sine wave. We can now uh, sweep this. We have a, a sweep frequency of around 10 hertz. And with this control here, with this in sweep, this control here sets the start frequency. So as we turn this control up, the lower the start frequency becomes. And as we go back the other way, the shorter the start frequency or start uh, frequency sweep becomes. Now, if we go to uh, FM, we can uh, increase this control, which is now becoming the delta uh, frequency delta control. Let's see, the more that we add, the deeper the delta becomes. And on AM, the same thing. Only now it's the it's an amplitude control. You can just keep going and go 100%. And you can also uh, use other waveforms, let's say a square, where you can modulate that with a square wave. Or you can uh, use a square wave and modulate it in the FM domain. Pretty cool stuff. Now, there's another function we can use here and this is to control Let's see here there we go this is to set a burst mode so we use the phase trigger here to to, uh, to adjust for that so let me uh, get this thing set up and uh, I'll start the video again all right with the, uh, the phase trigger control and the unit set to burst we can control the phase angle of where the burst starts. 
And with the uh, single and multiple switch on the back, we can change from multiple waves to a single waveform. And we can control the phase angle on that as well. Really kind of a cool uh, function. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it's uh, certainly nice to have it. Well, so there you have it. Neat, neat, neat function generator. Uh, you can still find them. You can get these off eBay for a reasonably decent price. Uh, you got to be careful because some of them are kind of beat up. But uh, I was able to acquire this. Fairly nice unit. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. I uh, went through its uh, performance tests and it is just within the performance test. So I don't even really think I'm going to do anything with it. I'll, uh, I'll service it here uh, next year. I uh, usually... Uh, open my instruments up at least once a year uh, to service them and adjust them but yeah kind of a cool I uh, I'd uh, seen oscillators do this before but didn't know if I'd ever need one that would do this but whether I needed it or not well I guess I have it now so it'll complement my my uh, 3325A nicely I needed something that was a little smaller a little more portable something I can just put on my my cluttered desk here and uh, actually be able to use and uh, have a couple of extra functions that uh, this thing does that uh, my 3325A doesn't. So with that I think this is it for now uh, and uh, we'll be working on some videos here uh, later on. I've been kind of busy at work so it's you know, it's one of those things. Got to, got to work to pay the bills or uh, not work and uh, have all this stuff that, you know, I'll have to sell because I can't pay my mortgage. <laughs> so have a good one, guys, and thanks for watching.